Hi, I'm Nicole and I'm addicted to hand sanitizer. I love the way it makes my hands feel really, really clean all the time. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm addicted to bubble wrap. Uh, I've been addicted for about two years now, so yeah, that's my story. And I'm addicted to impersonating Donald Trump. I mean, like, he wants to be Trump every week and we keep telling him, like, you can't keep being Trump. He's becoming obsessed and we're all, like, super worried about him. CNN, bunch of liars, everybody else, they're all against me. They want to see me fail, but guess what? We're going to win. We're going to win big and we're going to win hugely. Good morning, Johns. So welcome back to CCTV. We hope you all had a great week and are ready for an awesome weekend. You want some? Oh, I'm okay right now, thanks. All right. Well, let's get into some news. If you haven't yet registered for the April ACT, today is the deadline. And be sure to keep all those on junior retreat in your prayers as they return today. Now let's hear from Lauren about an upcoming event on campus. Hey Dons, I'm here with three members of your dance and mance team, Nicole, Emmy, and Dennis. So Nicole, I hear you have an upcoming dance concert this weekend. When and where is your dance concert? Um, it's at the theater here, at Cathedral, and it's Friday and Saturday, and Saturday's at 6.30, and Friday's at 5, so hope to see you there. And Emmy, how can we get tickets? You can get tickets by asking any of the dance team members, or you can go to cathedralcatholic.org dash dance concert. And Dennis, how have you guys been preparing? We've been uh, working really hard at uh, achieving our goals, getting the dance moves on point, and uh, getting the chemistry really flowing between boys and girls of the team. Uh, I love you, SNA. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of nice practice time. I hope to see you all, guys all there at our dance concert this weekend. Nicole, do you have any strange addictions? Yes, it's singing. Hit me, baby, one more time. <laughs> Are you guys going to the dance team concert? Of course. Wouldn't miss it. Yes, I will. Woo! I wouldn't miss it. See you guys? Of course. And what will happen if people don't come? Well, anybody who doesn't want to go to that concert deserves a detention. True. Hey, um, can I have some hand sanitizer? Sure. Thanks, Lauren. Come out and support your fellow Dons from out the dance concert. I think, I think, oh, okay, I, that's, that's, thanks. Okay. Well, if you're signed up for the SAT boot camp, be sure to get a good night's sleep tonight because that is at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now let's hear from Kayleen. Hey Dons, I'm here with the moderator of the Entrepreneurship Club, Mr. Rickling, to learn about their event coming up. So Mr. Rickling, what can students expect from the Don Shark Tank? Well, our first annual Don Shark Tank is gonna be very similar to the show Shark Tank and we're gonna have some students come in with either ideas for products or apps, and they will hopefully get some prizes, possibly even scholarship money, who knows. Cool, and when is this event taking place? It is taking place on March 14th, that's a Tuesday, at 4.30 in the afternoon, and they can come in to Drexel 106 and sign up, and I will give you a lot more information as well. When should students sign up by? Uh, March 7th, by the end of the day at school, would be the deadline to sign up. And last question, do you have any strange addictions? Well, a lot of people know this, but I'm really addicted to Rush. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Rickling. Thanks, Kayleen. It's been another great week in sports. Well, hold on, hold on. Uh, Michaela, can I get another one of these, please? Do you have one? You already, you already have but can I get another one, please? Are you serious right now? What? Okay. You want some? No. Are you sure? I'm good. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Well, okay. Now let's hear from Cameron. Good morning, Dawns. It's finally Friday. Let's get some scores from this week, shall we? Starting off with the varsity guys basketball team beating Poway High School by a score of 80 to 64. Congrats to these boys. And as we transition from winter to spring, we welcome in the 2017 track and field season. The boys and girls have a meet at Mount Carmel in beautiful Rancho Penasquitos this Saturday from nine till noon. Good luck, Dons. Now tossing it off to Chris, who jumped into an interview with the swim and dive team. Hey, Dons. I'm here with Ty and Ty of your boys' varsity swimming team. So Ty, how's the team looking to build off last year's success this season? Last year, we had a really successful year. Some highlights were definitely uh, breaking some team records and taking down La Jolla. 
we look to do, to do that this year as well as win City Conference and break some more records. And Ty, what can you say about the talent of this year's team? I think we have a lot of good swimmers this year, including Yuma Dugas, Joshua He, and uh, I just want to shout out my boy Ty over there com to committing to Lafayette. And Ty, how's the team adjusted to your new coaching staff? Well, we have two new coaches this year, Coach Reed and Coach Troy, and both of them are really positive, enthusiastic individuals. Ty and I have both had some time with Coach Troy at the club level, and both of them are really great people. Thank you, boys. Good luck with the rest of your season. Now, back to Cameron. Thanks, Chris. Now for some boys golf. The guys beat Carlsbad High School this past Tuesday by a score of 189 to 194. The golf team takes on Coronado High School next Monday at the Santa Luz Golf Club. Go get them, guys. Now onto some boys volleyball. After a solid week of tryouts, the boys volleyball team is ready for competition. Come to the Claver Center tonight to support the guys as they take on University City. The game will start at 4.15 p.m., so be there, be square. After the volleyball game, make sure to swing by the theater tonight to catch the dance concert with a guest appearance from the Mance team. Also, the lacrosse team plays their first home game tonight at 7. Now let's get a word from Marcella about the game tonight. Hi Dons, I'm here today with Christian, Nick, and Francesca to find out more about the boys varsity lacrosse game today. Christian, since this is the boys opening home game, what do you have planned for tonight? So as ASB, we tried to plan the, this lacrosse Friday Night Lights around our football Friday Night Lights. So it's kind of going to have the same theme where uh, we'll open it up with music to get all the students hyped. And then we're expecting Kona Ice and hopefully we'll get a taco truck for you guys. So we'll have uh, food and Kona Ice there. And Nick, the team looks like it's going to be really good this year. Mm -hmm. How do you think you'll do in this game against Torrey Pines? I think we'll uh, do really well. We've practiced hard and yeah, I think we'll stick to the keys. We'll do well. Awesome. And Francesca, why should students come to the game? Um, well, aside from being able to get some nice Kona ice, um, no, actually come out and support our boys tonight. Hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer. Come on, you gotta be clean, hand sanitizer, let's go. Hand sanitizer. Thanks, Marcella. Thanks for watching. Have a fun and exciting weekend. Make great decisions and roll dongs. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Cameron. Remember that Wednesday is like group schedule. Looking ahead, next Friday is the end of the third quarter. Keep working hard, Dons. We hope you have a great weekend, wait, and we'll wait, see wait. you next stop. Stop, stop, hold on, Han. You gotta get up. The couch is like really dirty. Get up, get up, hold on. I can like taste the bacteria. It's really disgusting. What the heck? Oh my gosh. We'll see you next week. That's a bubble wrapped on.